What if just one small thing you change in your business can 2x, 4x, or even 5x your income? Something that's so small that it's so much easier to do than what you're currently doing to promote your business to get more sales. You will want that, right? I'm listening. That's what we'll be talking about in today's video, so stay on so you can learn how to multiply the sales in your business without putting in more effort. My name is May Pak and I help makers, artists, and designers make a living from selling their handmade products online. So let's back up a bit and give you some context so we're all on the same page. When we do something in our business, we hope it generates a good outcome, right? But something I've noticed often is people struggle with their effort not yielding much results. Like the process of daily Instagram posts and engaging with followers takes up a lot of time, right? Leaving you none left to actually be creative and to do the things you love. And to make things worse, it doesn't translate into sales very well. So the problem is, how do we get better results? How do we get more traffic, more sales, more income? There's a school of thought that believes that if you want big results, you need to make big changes. While I think that's true in some circumstances, it is not always true. Because this is also true small tweaks can produce huge results. I've actually found this to be more true than big results equals big changes. It's the one degree difference, like how a plane from Los Angeles headed towards Italy, that's a 12 hour flight, will end up landing in Africa if its route is off by just one degree south. It also goes back to the Pareto principle or the 80-20 rule. Find the 20% thing that can produce 80% of the outcome you want. Small hinges move big doors. You get it by now, right? Basically the issue I see is a lot of people not taking the time to think of what they need to be changing. Instead, they're like a bull in a china shop, just knee jerking constantly and throwing all the spaghetti on the wall to see if something will finally stick. They make a huge mess and at the end of the day, you have nothing to show for it. Does that sound like what it feels like to run your business? I know that feeling, I have been there before. But like Abraham Lincoln once said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I will spend the first four sharpening the ax. Understanding and applying this to your business and life is truly going to make everything so much easier. So spend a bit more time thinking about the strategy and it will save you so much time and energy later on. Now, to take it up to the next level, the goal is then to come up with a strategy that's low effort and high impact, right? In other words, what are some small things we can do that don't take a lot of time, energy, or money that can yield incredible results? I have experienced firsthand how being strategic with what you change, even though it's small, can produce extraordinary results. For example, very recently, I removed a small pink box on my cart page in my shop that notify potential customers when they could expect their jewelry. Since my work is made to order, the turnaround time is about three weeks until they get their order in their hands. That is a long time in today's standards where people are used to shopping on Amazon and expecting one to two day delivery. Removing this pink box, which took me less than five minutes to do, doubled my sales instantly. Another example, Sherry, a friend of mine who sells Bath & Body products, changed her packaging to look a lot simpler and that 4 x her sales. When I was selling wholesale, I struggled to get my retailer's customers to see and really believe in the perceived value of my products. They were balking at the prices and my stores were having a tough time selling my work. One shift in the packaging and nothing else removed this barrier and my products started to fly off the shelves. And when I actually simplified what products I offered in my subscription, the Necklace of the Month Club, from newly made exclusive designs that were so hard to make to merely offering what I already had in my catalog, I went from being stuck at 100 subscribers to growing my club to 500 subscribers with ease. That's a five times increase. I finally got the growth for my subscription product unstuck and it later on went to make over a million dollars cumulatively after all these years. The good news with all of this is that there's likely just a few of these small tweaks you need to make in your business to start allowing the flow of sales to start running. You don't need to scrap everything or burn your business to the ground and start over. Although sometimes that is a valid strategy too, but that is a story for another day. It really can be that easy, okay? But what most people trip up over is not knowing what those tweaks might be for them. 
So I encourage you to look at your product line, your branding, your product photography, the pricing, and the shopping experience and purchasing flow your customers go through when buying from you. And ask yourself, what could be causing a bottleneck for you right now? You might even want to ask a friend to use your website and then look over their shoulder to see what they might be struggling with. Where are the barriers and what is causing them to have pause from purchasing all the way? Or what might be confusing them? You want to fix that and plug that hole. And the more of these small holes you fill, the better your business becomes at converting traffic into sales. For example, your shipping price could be way too high relative to the price of your product. That's something I see often, especially if you make a heavier product. So how can you make it more palatable for your customers? Or maybe your customers go to your product listing pages and they're unsure of the size of your product because maybe you haven't stated it anywhere. That's a big barrier to purchasing, but a super easy fix to do. You could have a photo of your product next to a common household object as a reference for size, like a quarter or a pencil. And you definitely wanna put measurements in the product description. So those are some examples and what I described in today's video are tweaks that are very specific to my business. Likely your tweaks will be much easier to spot and fix, but you also don't know what you don't know, right? And your next question is probably, well, what tweaks should I apply? And unfortunately, I can't see your specific website right now, so that's the limitations of a video like this. But this is why I'm doing a free five-day sell more work less challenge that will walk you through discovering what those tweaks could be for you. Because there's so many, there's just also not enough time to cover it all in a YouTube video and it's also not personalized to you, right? And more importantly, I want to walk you through how to do those tweaks and hold you accountable by making sure you actually implement them. So that's why I'm hosting a free challenge in March that's going to be a ton of fun. There'll be fun games, interactive daily sessions with me, live, lots of opportunities to win prizes, live coaching and Q&A with me, and a free workbook. I am so excited to do this with you guys. So if your business is stuck, come join me for this free five-day fix. There is a link here and in the description as well. So go Go ahead and sign up for free now and let's make this a better year than last year. Three weeks until they get their order in their hands. My dog's escaped. Ugh, let me take that back.